Hello, and welcome to my Gym A Day Challenge. During this challenge, I will be battling a Gym A Day for 100 days, going across all generations of Pokemon. I will try my best to make every battle a unique encounter with a Gym Leader, but we'll see what happens by the end of the challenge. The rules I am setting for this challenge are as follows. I will battle one Gym every single day for 100 days. I will be using only my starter for every single battle. I will be rotating the grass, water, and fire starters each generation, starting in order with Pokedex number. This means I will be using Bulbasaur for Generation 1, Totodile for Generation 2, and so on. The level cap on the starter will be the level that the Pokemon would obey the trainer from a trade. The exception here is that I will allow my starter to get to level 20 for the second gym, since it would be near impossible to only use the starter and keep it under level 11 all the way to the second gym. This level cap increases 20 levels for every second badge you receive, so it will be level 30 for the 3rd and 4th gyms, level 50 for the 5th and 6th gyms, and level 70 for the 7th and 8th gyms. I will also be battling every single trainer in each gym before I battle the gym leader. Other than that, I will be playing the game like normal. Now let's jump into the challenge. Alright, first gym. Let's kick it off with the first trainer. Geodude should be an easy one. Oh yeah. See ya. Sandry's a little beefy. Still shouldn't be a problem. Yeah. Probably also mention at this point it's just like Nuzlocke's where you can start the gym at level 10, but if you level up it's fine, as long as you're in the gym by 10. Don't even need to heal, just go right into Brock. Another Geo dude. I think that two levels is gonna make it a live a hit. Absolutely not. What's next? Onyx. Even worse than Geo dude. See ya. Well, first gym was pretty easy. Probably the easiest gym I'll ever do. So that's it for day one. See you at gym number two.